Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. We're going to do a little bit of a comparison here. Uh, I just got a new camera, a new action camera for Christmas. And it is called the Dragon Touch Vision 3 Pro. Of course it's supposed to do 4K and all that. I'm, I don't shoot 4K on this one, nor have I, nor do I on my older camera. Um, my laptop just can't handle it. I'm lucky to do what I do. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about a couple of things about this new camera versus the old camera. Now, of course, like I said, this is called the Dragon Touch, and this is called the name that I cannot pronounce and probably no one can pronounce. It is A I. Q-I-U. Whatever you want to call that, I have no idea. <coughs> okay. On with the new camera. What I like about this camera the most is the touch screen. It has a touch screen. My old, camera, my old uh, action camera does not. The problem I have with the touch screen only is that, you know, whenever I'm holding my camera and I'm riding my bike, I'm kind of all over the place like this. And so you're going to run the risk of touching, you know, the screen and doing things. So I, I used it today really for the first time. And I had to be really uh, careful and mindful of what I was doing, even trying to ride and and uh, turn it off and on and stuff like that and uh, so that's the only real issue about having a touch screen otherwise it's great I've been wanting a touch screen for a long time on that camera on my old one because the menu system is just really clunky on it um, the one con that I can tell you about this camera is and I'm gonna demonstrate with some pictures and videos in here is that the exposure is really dark it doesn't matter if you bump it up all the way to three or whatever it has on there it has a plus a negative uh, three so you can go up three and down three so uh, it doesn't really make a difference it seems like it makes a difference in photo mode but not in video mode which is strange <clears throat> so this camera really is just going to be used for outdoors um, and the video that I am uploading of this, uh, I'm sorry for the discoloration. Uh, I had this on Tungsten or whatever the heck it's called in the white balance. And normally I just run auto. Uh, it's what I always run on this. And it's even what I run on my digital SLR. Just automatic. But uh, I had it on Tungsten for this and just for whatever reason. <clears throat> so you're going to see discoloration. Uh, there's pluses and minuses with everything. Uh, the build quality feels the same as this. It, you know, they feel about the same. Everything feels about the same. One thing that's really cool about this new camera is it does have your standard tripod thread on it. Where you don't have to have a case on this phone of some, cor of some kind to put it on a tripod. You can just screw it right on. That's good. Every camera should have that. <clears throat> Those are really, uh, those, that's really all I have to say about this camera. The exposure is dark, and you could quite possibly fiddle them around and mess with your, your screen while you're riding, so you got to be really careful. Now, that's not an issue so much if you just have your camera mounted here, or mounted on your bars, or mounted on your chest here, whatever the case may be. You're not really fiddling with it too much. But a lot of times when I ride, I'm, Holding it here and holding it over here and moving over here and looking down here. and So that might be an issue, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, my old camera, you can try to pronounce it all you want. Well, like I said, it, you can't. <laughs> but uh, it's been really good. Uh, my only issue with this camera is once in a while it'll freeze up. And I don't know if that's because I'm turning it off and turning it on, turning it off and turning it on. And trying to do things too quick maybe I don't know and it just kinda <clears throat> it'll lock up but it, it only does it like once every ten times I use it it's not like all the time so it doesn't really do anything but you need to check 
you want to make sure you check and see, you know, make sure everything's going, you know. So, uh, the main issue with this is just the menu system is a little slow and clunky. You turn it on, and then to get to the menus, you're pushing this button here, and you're going through. And then finally, you go through to get to your main options of, see, of getting to your settings and stuff. So then you push this button to get into your settings and then go through blah 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 here blah 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 blah. This is basically scroll, and that's basically uh, select. You know, Axel, what are you doing? Don't you see I'm trying to make a video here? Don't you see for the love of God? <sighs> go ahead, continue. Anyway. If I had, you son of a biscuit eating bulldog, do you want to go outside? If I had to pick one of these cameras as a go to, must have, uh, only one, I would have to go with my old camera. Um, I don't know what this Dragon Touch cost. I don't know what my kids got it for. Uh, I don't know what they paid. I'm not going to ask them. I know when I bought this one, uh, it was $80, and this one here I assume is somewhere between $50 and $80. I have no idea. <coughs> really don't know. Sometimes you got to pay for quality. Now we all know an actual GoPro is <coughs> in the $300 range if you want the big, more flagship model, like the... Uh, uh, the GoPro Hero 8. That's what I want. It's 300 and whatever dollars. It has good reviews. I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to do better than either one of these. And that's shooting, that's whether it's shooting 720p, 1080p, 2K, 4K, or whatever K it wants to shoot. Um, the internals, the processing that these cameras do, all are going to vary. And they're going to vary greatly from an extreme budget camera up to a $300 plus camera. There's going to be a difference. Uh, GoPro's number one for a reason. Uh, sure, they pretty much started the action camera genre. But, you know, I'm sure they're number one for a reason. And people like them for a reason. And these... These little budget cameras, they do okay for your average, everyday, run-of-the-mill fella. I really do expect, I, I need my cameras to do decent at least, because I do put out a lot of videos, uh, in case you didn't notice. Anyway, so my goal is to eventually get a real top-of-the-line GoPro, and uh, these are just going to be backup, I hope. And there's nothing wrong with having backups and budget camera backups, or even using budget cameras for everything as long as they do the job but this Dragon Touch is gonna need some serious exposure help uh, you're gonna have to have the, a room lit up big time if you want to do something indoors and or, or just mainly use it outdoors <clears throat> so anyway guys that's just kind of a quick quick little video I'm doing for the comparison of those two cameras um, this doesn't lessen how I feel about the new camera. I love it. I'm, I'm so thankful that my kids and my, uh, um, my boy's girlfriend and that they, that they got it for me and all that f uh, for Christmas. It warms my heart. I love it to death. I'll never get rid of it. <laughs> I'll use it until it falls apart, just like I do everything. You know, you make the, you make the judge, you know, the call yourself, you know. So are you going to get a echo what heck what 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 or are you going to get a dragon touch or are you going to get one of the other 200 uh, budget cameras budget action cameras that are out there so all right guys thanks for watching i hope this video helped a little bit um i hope you like share subscribe comment all that good stuff 
I do all this for free. All of it's for fun because I love you. I love myself. This gives me something to do. It helps me with my depression and I, I, I just enjoy doing it anyways. Whether I get one view or I get one million views. Well guys, have a good rest of the day. I hope you had a good holiday season. Uh, Coming into the New Year's, I hope you have a great New Year's and safe and do everything you want to do and be everything you want to be. Enjoy life and live in the moment because you never know when it's going to be your last moment. Alright, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see y'all later.